Today is potato day. I absolutely love potatoes. They're the best thing in the world. And in today's Tasty Time video, I want to show you one of my favorite ways to make them. Fried, golden, nice crust, fluff in the middle. Absolutely yummy. Ah, the smell. Come on, look at them. These Jersey Royals are an absolute delight. Baby new potatoes, definitely top of the list when it comes to potatoes. I'd even go as far as to say the king of potatoes for me at the moment. They're in season now, new potatoes, so, so good. With the skin on, an absolute treat. Don't mind if I do. Mmm. Oh. If you could smell this. Oh. Mm. So what we need is potatoes, some thyme, a few sprigs of rosemary, five cloves of garlic, extra virgin olive oil and some salt and pepper. For this dish I'm using new potatoes, these baby ones, Jersey Royals, they're really really nice because they're nice with the skin on and uh, they're nice and creamy inside so they're the perfect perfect potato for parboiling and then finishing off in the pan frying them with that nice and golden crust. Now I've gone ahead and uh, half these ones even though they're quite small but that just makes them even more nice and bite-sized. So go ahead and give them a good wash, a scrape, get rid of any of the black eyes, the ugly bits on the skin. I've done that so they're good to go. Now I've also gone ahead and crushed the garlic. I'm doing this because the skin of the garlic is a nice protection and you still get that nice flavor and it's just super rustic, it'll look nice. One of the things I really like to do as well is I'll grab one of these garlic cloves and get rid of the skin. So what I want to do with this garlic clove is grate it and then make a garlic paste with it. I'll get my nice tiny grater here and I'm gonna grate. I'm gonna grate it nicely. So when you finish grating, you want to go in with a bit of salt. Grab your knife. With the end of your blade, you want to just nicely mash it together. Now, you'll get all the nice juices from the garlic. So you can already see the moisture coming out of the garlic as I'm mashing it with the salt. And that's what we want, that's key. And it's a super trick, so look at this paste. So, so good. Mmm, and the smell. And what we'll do before frying the potatoes is, we'll go in with the garlic paste, coat all of the potatoes evenly with a bit of oil, salt and pepper, thyme, rosemary. And what that does is, all of the potatoes will have a bit of that goodness of the garlic and it will evenly coat all of them. Mm. Onion, that's it. Onion is a super addition to this recipe. I normally go in with onion, sometimes not, depends how I feel, but actually today I really feel like going in with an onion. Onion is amazing when it's caramelized with that garlic in the pan. So today we're going in with the onion and what you want to do is just chop it up, not too fine. So chop it up. Whoops, let's get to it. Right, so here we are and what I did is I boiled the potatoes, I parboiled them. So they're just about done, but they're not quite done. Uh, you can check if you just poke the potato with the end of your blade and uh, there you go. It's nicely done. You don't want to overcook them and have them falling apart. So that's just nice. Go in with a bit of your oil and get your pan nice and hot. While your pan is heating up, what you can do is get a bowl and we want to prepare the potatoes. So go in with your potatoes. You want to go in with your garlic paste, yeah? With your garlic and salt paste. Get that in there. Go in with a bit of thyme. Rosemary in there too. And a little bit of that oil. Give it a good mix. Extra little bit of pepper in there. So the nice thing about this is the potato is nicely coated, evenly coated with that garlic, salt, oil, thyme and the rosemary, black pepper, lovely. Go in with your onions. So get them into the nice hot pan 
You'll see it's going to sizzle away. Get the garlic in there. Get a few sprigs of rosemary, bit of thyme in there. Give it a bit of a shake. And turn it down a little bit. And go in with your potatoes. So there you go. Put them all in and get all that garlic and oil that's left in your bowl in there. Oh, the smells. If you could smell this. We're gonna go in with a little bit of black pepper, tiny little bit of extra salt, and then wanna just nicely toss it every now and again. We wanna get the onions, the garlic, the potatoes, everything nice and charred. So we wanna get that nice golden crust, and that gives so much flavor. So you don't wanna burn them, so just give them a nice toss, get them back on the heat. So I'm gonna go in with the rest of my rosemary and thyme. So give it a nice toss, keep tossing every now and again. And it's coming along really nicely. You can see the golden crust even more clearly now, super nice. So I've turned down the heat a little bit and last but not least I'm going to go in with another butter. You don't have to do this but if you feel like you can, I think it all ties it together and gives it that extra buttery flavour. So give that a little toss and that gives an extra coating full of flavour. Turn off the heat, I think they look amazing. So what you want to do now is just cover it with the lid so you keep that moisture and you keep it nice and warm. And that's it. And there you have it, an absolute treat. Definitely one of my favorite ways to make them. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you did. I hope you could take something away from it, enjoyed it at the least. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, as usual, have a tasty one. Mmm. Bye.